This is really important for us who are interested in our past. And it has to do with our present sightings and uh, entities that we have around us as well. The Homo sapiens before the flood and Peru's ancient cave of dangerous energies. There's also an embedded video of Brian Forrester's about a seven minute video of a trip to Peru and one of the uh, scientists who are explaining what is, what is going on there. These are the people that uh, had these very advanced technologies of constructing these very mysterious stone cuttings and underground dwellings. We know from the Hopi Indians that the earth has had cataclysms many a times before and uh, this is one of the cataclysms that these people had experienced here in Peru. They were living at the time when the sunlight or the light of the day was at a, at a twilight. It wasn't as bright as the sun that we have today. And they had to go underground because they, otherwise the sun would burn them. And they're still living there today and they come out at uh, early sunrise and also just before sunset. And uh, that's why people don't go up to these area, various areas because they drain them of their energies. They drain humans of their energies from what he says to us. But let's um, go into the article. The video, as you'll, as you'll see, it's only seven minutes, but it's very important to listen to what he has to say. A Peruvian man compares the antediluvian Homo sapiens with today's Homo sapiens. Something discussed in my papers, he says. This is uh, on Humans Are Free by Alexander Light. I also wrote, he says, about the time before the sun began to shine from the blue sky. Before the flood, the sky was damp and very cloudy. A global canopy was keeping the sunlight out. And this man confirms. And this is also what we know from the Old Testament. We know that before the great flood, before the uh, flood, the deluge of the time of uh, Noah, there, was no, there were no rainbows, which means that the atmosphere was totally different the sunlight on earth was totally different. There are those that believe that some kind of a chaotic event happened to our solar system and uh, it had an effect on earth changes and our atmosphere as well. And after that, the rainbow appeared. There was no rainbow up to that time, which means that our atmosphere changed and the sun was able to shine through a clearer sky and whenever it rained, whenever there was, uh, uh, we were standing between the sun and the rain, we would see a rainbow. Now, uh, that's as it was explained in the Old Testament and that's why we would thank God and remember his promise to us not to ever flood the earth again in that manner. Now, going back to this article, uh, when uh, Enki terraformed the earth after the deluge by tilting her on her axis, so the legend goes, the gravity and the frequency slightly changed on the planet, and there were big climate changes worldwide as well. And before the tilt, creatures that inhabited the earth were bigger in stature, but when the gravity changed after the tilting of the planet, most species became smaller, or more accurately, most, most species who survived the flood succumbed when Earth's gravity was changed, and uh, Enki replaced them with beings of smaller stature. The sky now became much clearer, and the new inhabitants of Earth were allowed to see the sky and the moon, the planets, the stars, and the galaxies. And um, moreover there, after the new terraforming of the planet, the moon was aligned due to an exact mathematical formula making it the same size as the sun seen from our perspective. Thus we have the eclipses where the moon covers the sun exactly. This is a precision work. And after terraforming of the earth affecting both the planet and the new species, Homo sapiens, the new genetically manipulated human race to whom we belong, those living underground whom this Peruvian man talks about, 
are the humans who lived on the surface of the earth before the Great Flood, before the Deluge. Most of them were wiped out together with the rest of the fauna at that point. And uh, I'll let you watch the video. As we said, it's only about 7 minutes 44 seconds. And uh, it's short enough for you to get a lot of information from that and also to see the construction of one of the areas that they readied for their escape, for their sanctuary, to protect themselves against this earth change, this uh, catastrophe and this flood. So this is on Humans Are Free. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.